welcome back to the channel. My name is Spinrite, and if you haven't already, subscribe and leave a like. So today, it's time for a review. I've been waiting to make the review on the Nike Zoom X Dragonflies. This shoe might as well be the most revolutionary shoe ever made. This is Nike's attempt at the Vaporfly for the tracks, and in my opinion, Nike just became an overachiever. This shoe has already broken multiple world records, with many big faces like Joshua Cheptegei, Jakob Ingebrigtsen, and many D1 college athletes all running in this new Nike Super Shoe. But what exactly makes this bike so special? Well, it separates this spike from any other that shoe companies have made, or even Nike has made. Well, Nike has finally brought forth their scientific design to the track. It uses the same foam that can be found in the Vaporflies and the Alphaflies, the Zoom X foam. But, the foam is the only thing that makes this spike so super. The lightweight, responsive foam also works with a full-length PVAX plate. The plate makes this shoe super efficient at toe-off and kind of makes the shoe like a spring. Also, Nike decided to add a breathable, lightweight upper to keep your foot better locked in place. They even decided to add a hole in the back of the shoe to keep your foot better locked down, which in my opinion, helps a lot. Coming in at 4.5 ounces, this shoe is ultra light. In my experience, this is the fastest, lightest, and the most responsive spike that has ever been made. I ran around 10 races in the shoe this track season, but I don't think I could have hit any of my PRs without this shoe. Would I buy this spike again? Most definitely, without a doubt. No question, this shoe is insane. There's even a possibility I might even wear this spike for the cross country season. Yes, I know this is a track spike, but I think this shoe could even be super on the grass. I mean, just look at Connor Mance over there winning the NCAA cross country meet wearing none other than the Nike ZoomX Dragonflies. All right, that's the end of the review for today, but now some of y'all might be wondering, why are there people signatures on your shoe? So basically, a few months ago, I went to the Olympic trials held in Austin, Texas. Yes, technically we weren't supposed to be there, but we went and it was so awesome. We saw some of the top runners in the world competing at this race. I ended up being able to pull Clayton Young over to sign my shoes. So that's a big signature in the front there. After the race, Craig Ingalls came up to us and took some pics and signed the back of my shoes. I'm sorry to say Craig, but I liked Clayton's signatures a bit better. I was also trying to get Taylor and Franco to sign my shoes, but he had left on a cooldown jog, which we may or may not have almost hit him on the way back home. So that is the story of the signed shoes and also the end of today's video. If you made it to this point, you might as well subscribe, leave a like, and go check out some awesome videos of mine. Alright then, I'll see you next time.